Hey guys, it's Yushi from Polygon Motion and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a long shadow in Cinema 4D. As you know, long shadows are very famous in these days. You can see examples of long shadows in printable contents, in web design and motion design as well. So I decided to create a tutorial on how to create long shadow in Cinema 4D. Also, if you don't know how to create long shadow in After Effects, check out my tutorial on uh, Polygon Motion on YouTube, uh, how to create long shadow in After Effects as well. So, if you're ready, let's jump to Cinema 4D and get us started. <laughs> It is Cinema 4D R16 static version, and if you're using other uh, version of Cinema 4D, it is it, it doesn't matter because uh, all the functionalities that we want to use for creating long shadows exist in all of uh, Cinema, uh, Cinema 4D older and newer version. So the first thing that I want to do is setting our project, the uh, project dimensions and uh, other uh, things. So I'm going in render uh, render setting and in Output, I'm just choosing film and video and HDV. If you're using any other uh, dimension for your uh, project, you can choose it, but in here I'm using HDV 25 frames per second and a uh, film aspect ratio of 1.7 HDTV. And also in effects, I want to add ambient occlusion and also global illumination for uh, environment lighting very cool and we don't want to save that and okay that is cool now our project is in uh, hdv uh, dimension so the first thing i want to create is uh, go in here and create your plane this plane is our background a flat background for a text that uh, the light is actually the light source emitting light to this plane and uh, this plane catch the light uh, and uh, and convert them into shadow and the shadow is created like a long shadow uh, to the surface if you don't have this surface you cannot you're not be able to uh, create shadow on that surface or anything else because you need a surface uh, to cast shadow on it so that is our plane and I'm choosing rotation and in rotation in z-axis I'm typing a value of 19 Okay, 90 degree, and also we have a flat background. So let's see it into different uh, viewport. And I'm choosing this, and also put it in center. Make that look, oh my god, make that a little bit larger to cover all the screen area. Very nice. Now I want to create a camera, very good, and put this camera in here to look in front because we in here we will create our fixed. So very nice and now we have our plane, we have a plan, we have our plane and also I'm type this and make it editable by pressing C on a keyboard so I'm just dragging a mo graph mode fixed okay with and also the I want to just align this to the surface of this plane very nice so just put this in here and also let me go to front and very good and make it a little bit larger and also put it in here in center maybe I'm just going to 
Motex and Mute Object make a little bit depth, give a little bit depth for it, and push it in here. Very nice, and subdivision to two, and also change the font. Maybe we use, um, let me check some, some good fixed and typefaces. So I'm using Jelly font. It's a free font that you can download it uh, on the, uh, internet, from the internet. And that is cool. So the first thing is that uh, I'm just uh, filling out these edges. I'm going to cups and in a start use fillet cap for it make that a little bit not too much subdivision very nice and also we don't use anything else so let's add some materials create a new material for our background i want to use um flat color maybe this or let me choose one of them. Very nice, and maybe a little bit change this. Very good. So refl reflectivity, just click it off. So and also create a new uh, material for our fixed. And sorry, I have to put this to our fixed and make this white and also I want to so let's add another material to these uh, edges of the character fillet edges new material and drag it to mode text and make this maybe um, this color reflectivity off and go in here and in selection type R1 now you see that we have that in our in our text edges and maybe a little bit larger very cool so all the things are set up just let's create our light source and here we have a lots of uh, lights type that uh, we see that we have target light, spotlight, but we want to use inf infinite light. What infinite light is? Infinite light is a source of light that is uh, that uh, has a huge amount of uh, light source. It, I mean that unlike uh, other types of lights, for example, uh, spot and target that has a very uh, precise and a very small amount of shape that all the uh, photons lights are emitting from that chip but infinite light is a is a, is an overall and environment light that have a lots of sources like Sun sunlight and this is stuff so I'm just dragging a new light in here and if I go to other viewport and put this light in front of this fixed and now if I go and on the global elimination uh, global global elimination is a little bit heavy effect but uh, just uh, my computer is handled that so and now if I go to uh, this light object and go to shadow it's general and go to shadow ray trace art because we need uh, an art shadow it's a long shadow it's a flat shadow so we have to use ray trace in a state of soft shadows just use uh, just on the art shadow and now if i click and render button you see a very little shadows that just appear but uh, they're they're just uh, they're not casting like this from this area on this area but it's just casting from uh, uh, the text itself we have to change the light uh, rotation in here if I go to coordinate and change the light rotation maybe like this now if I hit the render button you will see a very nice shadow in here so that is very cool let's do it much more and maybe make it like this
very cool. So we can uh, adjust the opacity of uh, the shadow. If I go to light and go to shadow, we choose density and a little bit. very cool and also let's put this light way more sorry and go to light coordinate make it a little bit orientation <coughs> now you see that we have a very nice a uh, long shadow. Let's add another uh, point light for an overall uh, lighting and put this light in front of this and go to shadow. Yes, the shadow is done. We don't need any shadow to cast it from this light. And now very nice. So, so that is from long shadow. We have a very nice looking long shadow in here. It's very cool. You can use it for your motion graphic scene, 3D motion graphic. You can use it for promotions. For you can use it or for almost anything because uh, nowadays we see a lot of example in long shadows in flat uh, in uh, 2D animations and in uh, 3D animation as well. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed from this tutorial and don't forget to check out our PolygonMotions.com for new tutorials and new classes. Uh, about motion graphic and graphic design and my name is Yuji Shade from Polygon Motion. We will see you next time.